everyone, I'm Jesse from Darkson Reviews, and it's time for Loot Crate Dystopia. So, let's check this out. Looking forward to this one. Whoops, upside down. Neat. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> check that out. I'm going to pull out the figure first. This will be my second Dorbs Fallout. That's really cool. That's awesome. That is easily the most detailed uh, Dorbs figure I have ever seen. They're usually far more, uh, you know, simplistic looking. Next we got Matrix Puzzle. Okay, I thought this was going to be like some kind of a 3D puzzle or whatever. I've never seen a, a puzzle, in, a regular kind of puzzle in such a small uh, box before, so... Uh, Alright, so I guess that's it. Pretty small picture to go by, but <laughs> sure, that's cool. Me and my wife have started uh, doing uh, some puzzles actually, so um, that can be one we can do together soon. Next, the shirt. Oh, wow. Robocop. Oh, wicked. Okay. Look at that shirt. Robocop shirt. Oh, my God, man. That, that is one of the best Loot Crate shirts ever. I'm going to go put this on right now. I love it. That's a great shirt. We got a T2 piece of metal. <laughs> It's got some, okay, so it's a little bit shinier. Um, I will have to check what this is supposed to be, because right now I don't know. It's Bioshock Infinite key. Just like a, like a blank key. So you could just go to a locksmith and have one of your uh, keys uh, duplicated uh, with this. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. And then this is your little... Well, it's just a little piece of cardboard, so it's not really much use, but anyways. <clears throat> uh, the pin. Oh, the pin's pretty cool. And that's it. Alright, so let's see what that T2 thing is. Terminator 2 metal print. That's it? Metal print. That's So uh, this is... Whatever it does, it's doing it right now. Uh, this is a little disappointing. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, if there's no other, if this is, if this is, yeah, okay, boo on this. I mean, this is this is really not very good. Um, keepsake. Whatever, man. Everything else in this crate is pretty cool. Uh, that's disappointing. But anyways, uh, let's check out the box. So here is the box, which is really cool. Uh, it's uh, got a Fallout theme all around it. Pretty cool. I like that. And here, dystopia. Welcome to the wasteland, a dystopia. A dystopian future awaits. Yay. Alright, cool box. Awesome shirt. Very cool Dorbs figure and Matrix puzzle. I like all of that. The only thing that was the most disappointing was. Uh, the T2 metal print, which, I mean, whatever. I mean, everything else in this crate is really cool, so I'm very happy with this. <clears throat> Moving on. Okay, so now it's time for three weeks of comics. Uh, first, Life and Death, uh, Prometheus, one of four. I started reading this, and then I, I think I got distracted by something, so I still have to f finish reading this. Uh, Action Comics, 957, Rebirth. Uh, this was actually pretty good. I ended up buying the second issue uh, as w or the yeah the next one after this. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was better than I thought it would be. And Detective Comics, nine thirty four. Uh, this I, jo I enjoyed a little bit more than the Batman. Uh, uh, Wonder Woman Rebirth. Uh, this was pretty good. I enjoyed this. Uh, Empress, I still haven't read the first one of this. I think I am going to binge read that one. Uh, the Max 32, maximized. Uh, Harley Quinn and her gang of Harleys. I think, yes, yeah, this is the variant issue, issue three. And that's the regular cover. And Detective Comics issue 935, I just read this moments ago. Um, pretty good. Um, I think I will get the next one. Um, so far that's looking like the Batman 
uh, series that I'll follow at least for a little while over uh, instead of just Batman. Um, although I will probably still get um, the next issue of Batman issue uh, two and then decide for sure. Uh, Wonder Woman. Haven't read this yet, uh, but looks good. Uh, Action Comics issue 958. Uh, so basically, uh, the, uh, this will decide whether or not I continue uh, with Action Comics or not. Um, it has to be a little bit better than the last one. Um, it has to be very good. <laughs> uh, Unbelievable Gwenpool, issue 3. I love the My Neighbor Totoro cover there. That's awesome. I didn't read this yet, and I should have. I really want to read that. Uh, Green Lanterns, issue number 1. Um, there's going to be a few Lantern comics, so... Uh, this, I haven't, I haven't read this yet, um, but this has to be really good for me to get the next one. Uh, I'm going to be very hard on these new DC books, especially since uh, they come out twice a month, which I don't really like. <laughs> uh, Harley Quinn, issue number 29. And the variant. Pretty cool. Uh, Deadpool 14, Civil War 2. I didn't read that one yet. Uh, I Hate Fairyland. Both covers. Issue 6. And X-Men 1, Civil War 2. Scotty Young variant. That's why I bought it for Scotty Young. Um, but I actually thought the issue itself was pretty good. I'm not sure if I'll get the next one or not um, yet, but it was, I, it was pretty good. Uh, Civil War 2. Round two. Uh, this is starting to get a little bit better. Um, I like it more than the last one. Uh, Spider Gwen, issue number nine. Uh, very good. Um, yeah, this is still my only spider uh, book that I'm getting every month. And Batman, issue number one. Yeah. Um, it was okay. Um, this whole, you know, Gotham... I can't remember what his name is now. Captain Gotham or something like that, and Gotham Girl. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I definitely like Detective Comics more, um, so I don't know if I'm getting the next issue of Batman, actually. Um, probably not. Uh, I will get the next Detective, though. And, uh, yeah. Oh, so, so I'm a premium member of Crunchyroll and uh, the anime streaming site, which you can watch uh, uh, on your... On your computer, your mobile device, your gaming device, your PS4, or Xbox, whatever. Um, and every month you get a free 48-hour uh, guest pass, which I hardly ever give out to anybody because I usually forget. <laughs> uh, so I've got like six of them right now. And uh, I will give out all of them. So uh, the difference between a 48-hour pass and their 14-day free trial is, uh, for the 14-day free trial, um, you still need to enter your, your name and your credit card information and all that, and then if you don't cancel um, after 14 days, you get charged. The 48-hour pass, um, you just go to the site, put in your code, and you're done. Um, I don't know for sure if it works on, if the code works on gaming devices too, or just the website. I don't know. I've never actually used one. Um, but uh, anyways, that's all you do. You just put your code in, and you've got access for 48 hours. Um, so it's just a 48 hour pass, so I'm not going to do a separate video with the winners. Um, I'll just send a, a private message to uh, the winners. So all you have to do to enter this little contest is uh, be a subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe. Uh, and then just in the comments below, uh, just tell me what some of your favorite anime series are. That's all. Uh, some of mine are Serial Experiments Lane, uh, Makira, Bubblegum Crisis, Original, uh, Dirty Pair TV, Cowboy Bebop, uh, Madoka Magica, Magic Knights Ray Earth, uh, Ranma One Half, um, Battle Angel, <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul. Still not finished watching that though. Anyway, those are some of my favorites. Oh, my neighbor Totoro, that's another big favorite of mine. I guess I'll just pick the first six people who, uh, who reply. And uh, I'll just send you a private message with the code. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So please give this video a like if you liked it. And uh, thanks for watching and see ya.